Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, it is such a good Saturday. So I went home and I stayed for like a night. Um, I took free groceries because she took me grocery shopping this morning and I'm in college and I'm a broke college student. I don't, I don't, what's it called, what's the name? I don't object to free groceries for my mom, okay? So we got some, a, lot, a lot of goodies I wanna show you guys what I got, something I've been craving, which I'm gonna show y'all first because y'all, they had these at Walmart and it was like $10 and I had to get them. Oh my God. So when I be cramping, I'm not a big drinker, okay? So I be cramping and I be craving a margarita. So when I went to Benville and I have that um, vlog, I'm still editing it, y'all. It's, uh, um, it's just, I have it. I said I was going to wait for that one because it's just it's a lot of like clips to do. So I'm still like messing around with that. But like I went down there and I had a really nice time and I'm going to um, upload it soon. But I had a frozen margarita there and I was like, oh my God, this was needed. So I was, when I was at Walmart, I saw they had some Cayman Jack margaritas. I never tried these. So these were ten dollars and let me bring the light over here y'all because we need some light there we go perfect for me check this so that's what these are and they come in six bottles so i'm really curious about what these taste like i want to say with lime juice i hope it tastes like i feel like it's like the original but y'all i'm so happy and so ready to taste these oh my god i just be craving some drinking yes you're not supposed to have these in a dorm but like I'm 25, okay? I'm, I'm a senior. Mind your business. <laughs> so, next, let me see. I have stuff planned I'm going to cook today. So, actually, I actually have to bring my other air fryer because y'all had an incident when the fire alarm went out for my other one because of oil. And that's what happened. I should have cleaned it. And now I got to still clean it, okay? So, I cleaned it out. It's just the top iron. So, I ended up bringing my other one because I ain't got time for that right now. Um, it's, so, that air fryer is so cute. So, I'm really have to clean it. But I bought my mini blue one because I need to air fry some... Um, I'm making Korean, I'm making Korean sticky cauliflower. I'm so excited for this because I found this on Pinterest. But anyways, for that we needed bread, um, bread crumbs. I got, and this is this is the um, some of the ingredients for it. So I got bread crumbs. I ended up on, and it's panko bread crumbs. It called for wheat, but I didn't see any wheat, so I just got white. So then I have to get some lime, and I have I bought four of them because I'm gonna end up making tacos again. So when I need to make some more pico. I got this and for other stuff you know I use it for a lot of stuff um, I ended up getting the whole cauliflower because I wanted some fresh cauliflower rather than frozen because the frozen cauliflower would be really watery and I ain't got time for that so I'm gonna cut this and I never actually used the whole cauliflower before so I'm gonna cut this up and then the one I don't use I'm, I have a um somewhere I have a my mom had these Ziploc bags you can like they're like recyclable you wash them so I'm gonna put those in there and I might freeze them so I have those and I'm excited for that meal. I might cook it today or tomorrow. We'll see. For that, also, I needed rice vinegar. And I had this in the in our pantry for the longest time. And I can't believe I, like, never got this. But come in handy. I got some rice vinegar. Toast to sesame. Um, I also had to get sesame seeds just for the garnish. Um, what else did I need for that meal? I think that's all, also honey. And then I got chili, paprika. I got um, the other stuff I already have. I don't think it's really much to it though. Oh, I also need a soy sauce, low sodium. So I got that. And that's all for the um, Korean cauliflower I'm going to be cooking. Yes, I'm going to be recording it so y'all can see me struggle and figure out just to make it edible. I swear that's what I do now. <laughs> so along with just the other stuff I'm making, I, ended, I got bread. This is my favorite bread. I always use the multi-grain crafted because I'm planning on making a lot of avocado toast. And with that, I had to get some avocados. I got some that weren't really ripe yet because I'm going to put them in my net. So they're going to be in there for a while and I don't want them to get too soft. So I got the avocado. We're going to make fresh avocado dip for the bread. And I also for the um, avocado toast. There's okay, toastable. I think it's toastable on Instagram. The girl I put the um, but look, y'all, her page is amazing. I find a lot of um, I always try her recipe she makes. So I had to get some cottage cheese for the uh, one of the toasts, and I got some. I mean, cottage cheese and uh, ricotta cheese, all for the toasts. And I have eggs, and yes, I'm supposed to be cutting out dairy, but I'm gonna be trying until I use all my eggs, okay? Because I don't waste food. So I'm still trying to eat better, but I really do like avocado toast. It's a really good filling meal. And I'm going to just boil those. If you don't know how to, you can easily boil an egg in a dorm. You can use your Instant Pot, which I use my kettle because it's really 
quick and it's like perfect so I use my kettle for that okay so for also for the oats I got some fresh strawberries which I might I'm gonna make those tonight they, I don't even think I talked about the oats. Yeah, I'm making oats, okay? I'm gonna be make. Oh my god. Oh my god. I just thought about some. I forgot the freaking jars at my mom's house. Oh my god. Oh, these are gonna go bad by then. Because I'm not going back down there. <laughs> Dang it. You know what? This week I might have to go to the store and go get some cups and just cover them. I did that before. Dang it. I'm talking about how I'm supposed to make oats with nothing. So I'm going to have to figure that out. God dang it. Well, I'm going to just have to go down there one day and then get some more fresh strawberries because these are going to be bad by the time I go down there. I can go next weekend, but these are not going to last. So I got some strawberries to eat anyways for breakfast. So that's always good. I'm all for that. But anyways, I'm going to be making some oats. I forgot the chia seeds too. They in my house. But I do got some soy milk because I was going to make the oats. So yeah, I'm going to have to go back down there and get that because I don't, I'm making me some oats. So I got the um, maple syrup for that also. So this flattened when it was in the car with all the stuff. But I did get some lettuce. I got these because I kind of want to make some lettuce wraps and you just peel them off. So it was these were like $2. I got some mini potatoes because I really love potatoes and I didn't want the whole ones because I got some in the net over there on the wall and they kind of like just growing and I have to pick them off because it's still creeping out. But I was like, I like small potatoes. I just don't use that many. So I still have those over there as well. At least I can make oatmeal, I guess. At least I can make some oatmeal. I ain't got no sugar. Oh, my, oh yes, I do. I, got, I do got sugar. I forgot. Let me calm down. I had to get some tomatoes. I love tomatoes. We're going to put these on one of my avocado toasts. Got some cornstarch. Also, that's for the um, to thicken the um, the meal, my Korean meal, Korean cauliflower. That's for that. I got some seasonings, paprika, dill weed for my avocado toast, and I got some parsley flakes just to make it look good. I saw one of her um, the toastable on her Instagram. She made a toast avocado toast with um, sweet potatoes. So I got one you can put in the microwave. I'm gonna be making a sweet potato avocado toast. That sounds so freaking good. I did get some cheeses because I had to cut some up. I have a um, clear container, clear bin in my fridge that I put my um, cheese in. It's just a nice snack, you know, when I'm like bored or snacking. Um, I eat cheese, like a, a, I eat a cube piece of cheese and I cut them in cubes. Eat a cube piece of cheese for like, uh, like when I'm doing homework. It's just like a nice snack, especially when I need someone to go. Just get a couple of pieces of cheese or like one or two because I'm saying I don't eat that much cheese. So I got two of these. I did get some juice because I always get them. It's crazy. These are like 172 now, 190 something. I'm like, these things just be like 112. What happened? But I still have to get one. Along with snacks, let's talk this. So I don't know why I've been eating these rather than the plain, like the regular Pringles. I used to always grew up eating these, so like I was like I was craving these. I feel like they're they're stronger than regular Pringles, and I like regular Pringles, but I was like I just been eating these lately. It's weird, but they're really good. Though. I, they're really they're stronger. That's why I like them. So I also got hot Cheetos because um who don't they need to stay the bring these prices down. I tell you that these things about almost five dollars. <laughs> And the last thing I got, which I don't know how I forgot, is McHale. I am going to be meal prepping some food, so I'm going to cook this down. And I kind of just like to eat um, kale with a little salt on it and a little lime. That is something I actually do like to eat. So I'm going to cook this down probably tomorrow and then put it in the... Um, in my um meal prep and i might i think we're gonna um pan fry or air fry most likely pan fry my instant pot some tofu to put in there too i could easily meal prep that and i have beans and corn i could just make like a blend and just put that um and i got quinoa rice i'm gonna make meal prep tomorrow that's what i'm gonna do so that's the plan that's my food y'all that was like it wasn't bad we spent um over i think it was 200 dollars. also because she went grocery shopping so it was my stuff and her stuff my stuff wasn't too too bad but you know it really wasn't. I got like a lot of food to make stuff. That's why. So I'm proud of myself. But we did spend some money. But you know what? That's just because everything going up. I'm excited. And I'm going to show y'all what it look, my fridge look like after I put the stuff in there. Okay, y'all. So this is the fridge now. Okay. So we're going to start over here. I got this is my garlic my mom made me. I just thought about that. I was trying to get some more garlic. I'm like, I got a whole jar. And it's just crushed, um, just crushed garlic with olive oil so it can stay for a long time. I got my tofu. 
I got this just salsa. This is where I put my drinks and my other two because they will not fit up here. I'm about to try one of these in a minute too. Got my, let me pull, pull the camera down. Drinks, more drinks and milk. I put my mushrooms and um, strawberries in there. Got my other drinks. Kale back there, lettuce back there, cauliflower. We got eggs back there, cottage cheese, tomatoes. I did my cubes already. I just cut them up and back there. It's just some teriyaki sauce with butter. That's all. So simple, y'all. And I'm about to add some more water in here because you need to stay hydrated. So, yeah, y'all. That's the end of this video. I just wanted to show you guys just a quick haul of what I got. And I just put my um, potatoes up here and I got my... Oh, I got my microphone. I have my um, lemon, not lemon, my lime, and I'm holding this microphone, so I hope it'll sound here. Other potatoes and all um, limes and avocados up in there. And I got my bread and other stuff up there. So yeah, y'all, that's it. I'm gonna go and let you guys go. This is just a quick video. I love doing, I, I, like, I really like doing these now. To show you guys what I get from my dorm, for like dorm room, and I can actually cook with a lot of this. So I will see you guys on the next video. I'm about to actually drink one of these because I'm really curious about what it tastes like. Seriously, go get you some margaritas. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.